Magandang hapo po mga katribo. Isa na namang napakagandang episode dito po sa Be Well Now. Hindi kahapon, hindi bukas, kundi ngayon na. Eto, ano kaya ang ibig sabihin ng energy healing? Let's welcome our special guest today, Jordan Patente. And he is with Innovation Energy, correct? Innovation Energy. Holistic Hi, Innovation. Good afternoon. How are you, Joy? Holistic Innovation. Yan. Thank you. I'm glad so, to be here, Miss Corey. Yes, mga katribu, I met uh, Jordan during the Health and Wellness Conference sa SMX. Ito po yung aking pinakapaninindigan, yung health and wellness sa buong Pilipinas. So we had a three-day event sa SMX, tapos lang. At nandun si Jordan ang nagbigay siya na ng libreng healing tulad ng Reiki at iba pang klaseng healing. Now we're going to talk about ano kayang ibig sabihin ng energy healing and how effective is it? Jordan, give us a brief Good background for energy healing. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Miss Corey, quick background. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I do business mentorship. But, uh, you know, last, uh, during the hype of the pandemic, I had a depression. Mm. Uh, it was then, uh, I've been planning for my early retirement. So I've worked hard for it for seven years. And just before I retired, I felt depression. And that started my journey to look for other alternatives to heal me. Because I know that's very unusual of me not not being sociable, not being able to uh, just speak up and go out and uh, meet with people, very un- not so typical of me. And so, Miss Corey, with energy healing, I've been drawn with that ever since. Uh, as a young guy, I thought, I've always believed with the albularios locally, right, Miss uh, Corey? natural medicine. Yes. Yeah. Pero But, Jordan, bakit sa tingin mo nagkaroon ka ng depression? Alam ko maraming tao sa buong mundo nagkaroon ng depression at may mga anxiety attacks. At hanggang, mm-hmm. ganun, hanggang ngayon din, meron pa o mataas pa rin ang mga mental health issues. For me, Miss Corey, yung depression, yung source nito is that uh, I was chasing the wrong goal, the wrong mission. Ayun. Bakit? What? What made you realize? Uh, I grew up in a uh, not so well-off family. And so growing up, I have so much luck in life. And I thought all the while, I just need to be well-off, to be able to uh, buy things that I like. So I thought that's where happiness is. And when I realized that, because I'm about to retire at that stage, so that means at some point, I have that freedom, the financial freedom. I have quite a lot in life. I could say now I've been humbled and been blessed all throughout my life. But I realized that's really not the source of happiness for me. That's why I got really depressed. Okay. Pero hindi dahil sa pandemia. Basta nangyari lang sa iyo sa panahon ng pandemya yung depression mo. Siguro po it helps then uh, it adds to the factors because you really can't go out. You're mm-hmm. you've been limited to do a lot of things. And then you're also not uh, performing your usual tasks of uh, mm-hmm. like in my case as a CEO of my other company, I usually network a lot face to face. But I can't do that. <laughs> I also did Uh, franchising, so uh, there's a business franchising aspect in that business that I used to handle. I can't go out and talk to people about it. I can't even set it up because of the limitations. So that's another factor. So at least nalaman mo kung ano yung mga dahilan. So most people who undergo depression, they don't understand what happened to them or what hit them. So they're lost, completely lost. Kaya po mga katribo, ito po ay makakatulong din para sa mga may health issues or may, may mental health issues 
at uh, or maybe any of our Katrina who's struggling now with some mental challenges, uh, this episode is for you. Okay. Please continue, Jordan. Ano ang nararamdaman ng isang taong may depression? First, you don't want to go out. Okay, number one. Ito pong checklist, ha? Number one, ayaw mong lumabas. Ayaw mong magkipagsosyalan. No, no, definitely not. You don't want to talk to anyone. Mm. And then, you tend to cry. And just focus on so much negativities around you. Mm. Oh. You're, you don't get to appreciate uh, a lot of good things around you. So when did you know? Paano mo nalaman na may depression ka pa? May depression ka talaga. Hindi, hindi ka sure? Maybe there was a time na you were wondering? Or when were you ever sure that it was really depression? Uh, the moment I felt it, Miss Corey, it's the time when I don't want to see people. And at the same mm-hmm. time, I'm like, I'm always short-fused. Every time my staff will approach me, laging mainit po yung ulo ko. Mm-hmm. And that's very unusual. Okay, so anong ginawa mo the, when you realized it, nung, nung nalaman mo na na ito, pa talag, ito talaga ang depression at nangyayari ito sa akin. So anong unang ginawa mo? Uh, ang una ko pong ginawa talaga is I did a lot of research. I'm the type of person who doesn't want to go to medical doctors right away. Ah, okay. lalo, lalo na po nung panahon ng pandemia, it's really difficult to go to a hospital. And if, if I do online consultation, I, I always, I'm a very physical person. I always wanted to see people. I want to hug people if there's an opportunity. So going to an a teleconsult or online consultation will not work for me. I but, know. And then? And then I've also looked for other options because in the past, because I always tire myself, like I always work really hard, like uh, 20 hours a day, I always go to Reiki healing session. That's an energy uh, session. And I just know the benefits of Reiki and some other modalities such as acupuncture, uh, meditation. I did a lot of those in the past and I just know that they will help me. It's just a matter of going back to them. So so before your depression, you underwent Reiki, healing, mm-hmm. and acupuncture. That's right. Yung bahag, eh, eh, po parte ng inyong routine. That's right, po. Okay, so na, na-stop yun, ano? Yes. Because you're yung regimen nyo. Tama po. Kasi Miss Corey, yung the other business that I used to manage, it's in the cleaning and disinfecting industry. So, okay. o, di we were so busy. <laughs> Opo, talagang sobrang busy. But that extra load didn't help my mental health. Ayun. So you think um, one of the factors also contributing to mental health issues is uh, toxic, a to- reaching a certain toxic level because of working too hard. Definitely, Miss Corey. Mm-hmm. So we we keep on hearing work life balance, but it's really difficult to achieve, mm-hmm. especially if you're trying to chase something. And in my case, that's monetary benefits. Ayon. So, anong sekreto ngayon? Anong solusyon dyan? Right. Well, because I tried Reiki and other modalities, una, I always look and ask myself po. I always check with my inner self, how am I feeling? And then what should be the options? And then there was a time, Miss Corey, that I encountered in social media uh, an article, video article, about past life regression. Ay, kay Jimmy Likaw ko. <laughs> <laughs> well, G- Jimmy is one, uh, one of the practitioners. But uh, I asked for a friend's recommendation, Miss Corey, because I was thinking, uh, I'm very conscious about myself, but it seems like something is really lacking. And probably that's causing the biggest factor that caused my depression. And so I look for someone who could facilitate the quantum healing or the 
hypnosis and and that's the past life regression. I see. Yan ang unang ginawa mo. Yung unang hakbang na ginawa mo, Jordan. That's right. That's right. Uh-oh. All right. So after that session, anong nalaman mo or anong kalinawa ng dumating sa utak niyo, sa kaisipan niyo? Uh, first, there are a lot of things that uh, I've realized and uh, that session made me realize and I validated them as well. But there's one thing, Miss Corey, my depression pala is uh, long overdue in a way that I've been hiding my truth. So if there's one thing, that session made me realize that I should speak more about my truth. Because, Miss Corey, if you're a businessman, lalo na if you are a struggling businessman, you tend to just please everybody. I know that uh, you're someone who promotes saying no, but of course, finding a way to saying yes, right? But right. as a businessman... Balance the it, yes and the no. <laughs> right, so it needs to be yin yang, tama po. Yes. Right, but in my case, because I know I'm struggling and uh, I needed to achieve a lot in a, in a short period of time, I just need to say yes to all opportunities. And that made me just kept my silence or I didn't even bother asking my truth if I'm being happy about what I'm doing and all that. So I've suppressed myself, Miss Corey, for a long time. And I I traveled back, not in my previous lives, but at the onset of this lifetime, during my younger years. Okay. That session made me realize na, okay, there are a lot of pains in life that I had to bury. That way, I get to move on in life. But it went back after. <laughs> Ayun. So, okay. So, nagkaroon ka ng past life reading. Itong buhay na ito, uh, pagkatapos nun, an- ano pa ang mga rehimen nyo? Uh, you, uh, apart from the fact that uh, I- I'm not talking about my truth, I'm also someone who's so left-brain. So, I'm a left-brainer person, So which is not good. Kasi nga, you... Very put... logical ang left brain. That's right, Miss Corey. Ako yung right brain. <laughs> I, and I hope na I could be that right brainer. Because until now, although it's been two years since I started my healing journey, I, I could still tell you na I think nasa 70 or 80% pa rin yung left brain ko. But slowly, I'm listening to my right brain. Ayun. Ngayon... Pinatayo mo itong company nyo, yung Holistic Innovation. It is just really an innovation. Mga katribo, let's find out more about Holistic Innovation. Thank Sorry. you, Ms. Corey. Well, Ms. Corey, Holistic Innovation is born out of our passion. Like, as a patient, because I'm someone who's always looking for an opportunity. That's uh, the entrepreneurship mindset in me. And I thought, as a patient, I have quite a few pain points, such as, I don't know where to find trusted or trustworthy kind of practitioner. Are you? I know. That's one. And then there are so hold many on. other things. Hold on. Hold that, hold that line, kasi mga katribo, ayan, ibibitin ko kayong lahat. <laughs> we'll learn more about the holistic innovation in a few minutes. Wag po kayong aalis. This break is brought to you by Angkas, Beat the Traffic, Bayad Center, Hashtag Bigger, Better, Younger Bayad, and you can buy it all. Globe, Atin Ang Mundo, Meralco, Aliwanag ng Bukas, SM, we've got it all for you. Smart, live more today. Union Bank, it starts with you. A wellness show dedicated to empowering viewers with the knowledge and inspiration needed to lead a healthy lifestyle. Be Well Now, hosted by Ms. Cory Crino, every Wednesday at 2 p.m., only here at the Tribune's Facebook page and Tribune Now in YouTube. Alamin ang pinakamaiinit na balita at mahalagang issue na bumabalot ngayon sa ating bansa. Ating pag-usapan, blow by blow, dito lang sa Hot Patadas, kasama sila Chiki Mangkukang, Vernon Velasco at Gio Leano. Yung Lunes, Miracles at Beernes, alas 3 ng hapon, dito lang sa Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribune Now sa YouTube. Conversations that are masterclasses from the top ponchos of various industries. Learn from their strategies and insights so you yourself can unlock your full potential. 
Perfect every Friday at 2 p.m. only here on Daily Tribune's Facebook page and Tribune Now in YouTube. Creative minds, entertainment icons, style influencers. We shine the spotlight on remarkable individuals who shape our cultural landscape. Every Tuesday at 2 p.m. only here in Daily Tribune's Facebook page and Tribune Now in YouTube. Parayan at talakayang showbiz! Times 2! Doble doble! Kasama ang dalawa sa walang kupas na talakayan ng showbiz, Alwin Ignacio at Alex Brosas. DDT Show, tuwing Sabado at Linggo, alas 4 ng hapon. Dito lang sa Jario Tirada ng Daily Tribune. Straight Talk dives deep into present issues of leadership, politics, business, and more. Engage in insightful conversations with industry shakers, government leaders, and trailblazers every Wednesday at 10 a.m. only here on Daily Tribune's Facebook page and Tribune Now in YouTube. Welcome back mga katribo. Ito po ang pinag-uusapan natin, ang energy healing. Jordan, please proceed. Yung energy healing, gustong-gusto namin yan. Thank you, Miss Corey. So again, as a patient myself, so yung ating holistic innovation was born out of our passion because as patient and as practitioners, we have needs that currently the market is not responding to so as a as first as a patient i i'm always worried about where do i look for credible or trustworthy practitioners because as you know the there there are some are albularios or like mangihilot like that so not that we're downgrading or looking down at them but the thing is at this day and age you wanted to look for someone who's really credible or at least okay. certified. At least accredited, no? Yes. Do you have an accredit accrediting body? Uh, that's what we're working on right now, Ms. Kari, because I know that's a, a huge portion of the business so that we could give that peace of mind to our patients. So somebody needs to do the accreditation or the vetting accreditation. process. Well, that's a good one. While we are preparing for Health and Wellness Confix 2025, mga kaibigan, mga katribo. All those interested, please sign up now. Yes, Let's agree. go to our Facebook page, Health and Wellness Confix. Mag-sign up na doon for 2025. That's great. And then, Ms. Corey. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, apart from that, as this time as a practitioner, the common concerns of our certified or professional practitioners is that we don't know how we could tap a huge or larger market and that it's really important because we need to be apart from being empowered because a lot of our certified practitioners nowadays are really spending a lot of time in even resources just so that they could have this practice but the thing is, not a lot of Filipinos are trusting uh, with this alternative healing modalities. And so our goal really is for us to bridge that gap and make that, like yung outing faith sa albularyo uh, and energy healing, we wanted that back. Because after all, Ms. Corey, I'm sure you will agree that we're all part of that wider energy and we all connect to the source that's why healing energy will never go out exactly. it's just that it's a matter of us appreciating it oh, mm -hmm. pag tinanong ka ng ating katribo ano ba ang energy medicine anong ibig sabihin ng energy medicine at paano po ito uh, ginagawa right when we say energy healing what we typically do is we just connect to the source and then let the energy flow from the healer going to the patient mm -hmm. what i like about most of the energy healing practices is that mostly they are touchless because oh, it's it, mm -hmm. that's right uh -oh. like uh see miss cory is also uh into pranic healing a lot of <laughs> our friends are into reiki we don't have to touch our patients we could clear their energy space because as you know, 
uh, there's this thing called aura. I'm sure we've all heard about auras. And sometimes people can look at auras or they can feel them. And our auras tend to be very cloudy or dirty at some point. So it, it tends to be heavy as well. Most importantly, if you're going through something. Or at least your physical pain or tiredness, if it's there, then there needs to be a clearing of your energy space. And that's what we do. That's energy healing. As simple as clearing out the old energy so that when they are out, we could now invite the fresh energy from the source to get into our body and we'll be feeling refreshed. Ayun. So, ano ang mga iba't ibang healing uh, healing uh, modalities sa energy medicine? In terms of healing modalities, we have quite a lot. So, briefly, there's pranic healing. Uh, so, it's from India. So, ancient, uh, uh, old kind of uh, healing practice. It's energy healing. And then there's also Reiki. There's a Western uh, Reiki. And then there's one in Japan. It's called Gendai Reiki. And then for Chinese uh, practices, uh, acupuncture, I'm sure you've heard of that. Yes, I, I love acupuncture. Ako, believe na believe po ako sa acupuncture, mga katribo. Uh, how about, Miss Corey, yung ating bone setters? Have Ayun, you tried? Ayun, mga bone setters sa ating SMX Health and Wellness Context. Last time, I totally agree. So, we have that too. But uh, yung sa bone setters kasi, that's really new. It's like helot and then they've combined the other modalities to do that. That's for our local bone setters. Uh, then there's also, I'm sure you've heard of yung sound healing. Sound, yes. We had right. sound healing to open the convex. Right, care of the farm. So, yes, yeah, the farm is right. good. Mm -hmm. And then we also have yung, yung reflexology. Uh, that for me is so much better than the regular mas massage that we typically yeah. get from our mazoos. <laughs> okay. So yun na uh, popular na binanggit nyo. Merong Reiki, merong pranic healing, merong right. sound uh, healing, tapos may mga bone setters. Okay. Right. So... Uh, what's next after this? Uh, I also like, Miss Corey, our crystal healing. Because crystals, yeah. right, right? Because it came from the nature, they amplify our healing powers. Kaya and then, ng my next crystals. That's right, with Miss Sylvia. <laughs> si Sylvia, pero hindi siya nagdala ng mga malalaking crystals. So, I told her next year, ma dapat magkaroon na tayo ng separate corner. Mm -hmm. for energy healing and energy medicine totally agree and if you are into crystal healing then it will be impossible for you not to hear about chakra healing they said there are several chakra points in our body these are energy centers okay. in our body mm -hmm. and if you just align them and if you zen those energy points then you get to feel relief like in my case, uh, Miss Corey, uh, with in terms of chakra healing, so I got someone, one of our practitioners in holistic innovation, her name is Irma. She did my past life regression. She also aligned my chakras. And she requested and encouraged rather for me to use crystals. Like right now, I, I'm using jade pendant because it's close to my heart. As a left brainer, I don't get to feel a lot of emotions. And that's bad. Diba, Ms. Corey? Ako naman, dami emosyon. So, so but, moonstone now, moonstone. Oh. Moonstones now, that's what you use. <laughs> right, so in my case, for me to feel emotion, then I could activate my heart chakra with jade because green represents healing for my heart. Oh, and right. then this is throat chakra, for truth, I, I, I didn't life. speak my truth a lot mm -hmm. about, uh, in the past. Uh, but uh, lately, in the last two years, I'm doing my best to be really authentic. In fact, okay. I've, been, I, I've been studying authenticity. And that's the modality that I'm also using to coach other people. Very so good. those are some of the examples. Po. Oh. So for holistic innovation, uh, it was set up because it's going to be a hub Will it right. be a well, mm -hmm. uh, we will have it's like a community between 
individuals seeking for alternative healing and for the certified practitioners. Ah, so, so it's like a hub, it's a platform. Yes. Okay, very good. So, ibig sabihin, uh, in your hub or community, mm -hmm. how many uh, healers and different practitioners in the healing arts do you plan to carry? Uh, when we launch po anytime this uh, 2024 April to be exact. Oh, di, nauna uh, tayo nga, be well now. Nauna kami. Spook <laughs> na po, po ito mga katribo. That's right. And I'm so grateful for this opportunity to make our viewers, uh, mga katribo natin, uh, maging aware dun sa benefits of energy healing. And when we launch po, we're aiming to have at least 100 practitioners in different modalities. Not to mention, we will also include yung ating uh, animal or pet wellness. Ay, maganda yun. <laughs> right. Kasi yung, may, now that uh, we have, most of us, we have pets at home, they also need some love and care. And even then, they need alternative healing. In fact, one of our practitioners, uh, Miss Cory, she could talk to animals. She's a pet Ay, whisperer. Right. Pet whisper, oh, yung galing. <laughs> Gusto ko yan. Can we do that? We can, we can po. Mm -mm. Uh, I'll, I'll invite her. Her name is uh, Maris. Uh, she's very compassionate and loving to uh, animals. That's why she got into energy healing. Do you have videos for us or photos you want to show us? Uh, we have a few photos. Uh, we've sent several photos. Uh, do you want me to share, or I think our technical team could share, no, during our uh, healing session. Pwede na ba yung mga photos natin? Ayun, okay. This is your group. Yes, uh, and then uh, there are also, we also have this thing called card reading. So it's card healing. So when someone reads for you using their cards, you get to be healed. That's how magnificent that is. Pero hindi tarot cards yun, no? Uh, different kinds of cards po. Mostly oracle cards. Some are using tarot cards then. Ah, I see. But there's a better, uh, for me, it's better modality. It's called Millennium Method. With Millennium Method, Miss Cory, the difference is with tarot po kasi you just get to interpret what the card is saying when it gets connected to you. With oracle cards, it's the same thing as well. So you get to download the messages with Millennium Method of reading cards. When you download the message from the card, it will also facilitate healing right after. So there's an action uh, portion of that uh, reading session. You just don't get to hear, but you get to heal as well your body. Okay. So would you have a physical office for this? Yes, uh, Jordan, ano ba yung plano ninyo? Meron kayong headquarters? Uh, for now, what's important for us, Ms. Corey, is we'll have an, a website as our platform. Because we, we all work remotely. But oh, we're also so looking now. at putting one center because if we are to have a community of patients and healers, we would love to have a lot of events where we could do community healing. Ayan, ang ganda nito. Let's do the first community healing with Daily Tribune. Yes, I like that. I would love that. <laughs> Thank okay. you. And we can record it and uh, show it, diba? Para That's right. Yung community healing. So, Jordan, thank you for being with us today. Uh, pwede po tayo magkaroon ng part two. Uh, can we tackle Reiki and what was the other one you wanted? Um, uh, quantum healing. Quantum healing. So, mga katribo, abangan next week. Makakaroon po tayo ng Reiki at Quantum Healing. Jordan, meron ba kayong mga contact numbers para sa mga gustong magpakonsulta sa inyo? Right. Uh, Miss, Miss Corey, I'd like to share a link because uh, we've already created a page for those who will be interested to get connected with us regardless if you're a patient or a practitioner because we definitely we have something great for you in store this 2024. It's really about time for us to welcome and go back to our roots and that's natural healing. Tama. Asan yung link natin? Uh, I'll share it. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, please. Para malaman ng ating mga katribo nang sa ganon, pwede po silang makipag-coordinate sa inyo. 
Ayun. Thank you. Can you read it out loud for us? Innovation. Uh-oh. Yeah, or better yet, Miss Corey, if they could also look me up in my social media accounts, I'll be more than happy to uh, walk them through the process. Anong social media account ito? Please look it up. It's called Jordan Patente. So I'm also in Facebook, Instagram, and even in YouTube. But uh, Facebook and Instagram is better. LinkedIn. Oh, magulat na tayo sa Instagram. At Corey Quirino. Yan. In my case, at Jordan Patente. Thank you. Very good. Maraming salamat, Jordan. See you next week. Thank you, Miss Corey. Yes. Okay, yan mga katribo ang ating episode. Introduction to Energy Healing. Next week, Actual Energy Healing na. Para sa ating lahat. Okay, that was our episode today. See you next week, mga katribo. In meantime, stay well, be happy, and be well. Ako po si Cory Quirino. <laughs>